This is your CBS 46 News Update. Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. Today is Ahmaud Arbery Day in Georgia. It's named after the unarmed black man who was shot and killed two years ago. Today in Brunswick, Georgia. Tuesday, his killers were convicted of federal hate crimes charges. Today, vigils, marches, and other events are happening in honor of Ahmaud Arbery. Georgians are asked to pause for 23 seconds. That is today's date. To remember Arbery, say a prayer for his family, and consider making a $23 donation to the Ahmad Arbery Foundation. A crime alert to tell you about in Atlanta after a taxi driver shot and killed. Police have arrested Alibra Allen. He's being accused of killing 72-year-old Frederick Emerige. Now, investigators tell us a tip from a parking lot attendant on Trinity Avenue is what helped them find the suspect. CBS 46 is your vaccine team. Atlanta-based CDC now saying people can wait up to eight weeks between getting their first and second doses of vaccines made by Pfizer and Moderna. Previous guidance said the second shot should be given three weeks after the first. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention saying extending the wait time may reduce the risk of a certain type of heart inflammation. Males between 12 and 29 are at the highest risk for that. All right, wondering about that weather? Gonna be a beautiful day. Let's check in with meteorologist Ella Dorsey for more on that. Yes, yeah, so the rain has moved out. We'll see partly sunny skies this afternoon. It will be mild. In fact, it'll be warm. Temperatures will top out in the low 70s. Tonight, 56 degrees, so it stays mild. It'll be pretty cloudy, some patchy fog. We'll start tomorrow on a very gray note, but we'll end the day tomorrow with partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the upper 70s. That's near record highs. Take advantage of it because we're going to see some showers on Friday and then it gets quite chilly as we head into the weekend. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.